It's back. Big is back. Hello. Quick video on making this very popular Harbor Freight dual three pound, six pound rock tumbler into or taking the parts to make something that's professional grade that'll run forever based on replacing four key wear points. Uh, the first one is actually how the, the drums crawl side to side and rub on this little plastic tab they give you. This will eventually wear out. Now there's a lot of YouTube people that complain, say all you have to do is level your tumbler with a bubbling level, works fine. Well, the key is these, these bars have rubber for the friction and even if it's perfectly level, after time, the barrels will still crawl. And if you make it perfectly level, put a steel ball in here, you'll end up, it'll end up running off. So one thing you do is make a wooden frame and have it slightly tilted and have it run up against a running wheel. Okay, this is a steel frame. Uh, you can use wood, scrap wood, two by fours or whatever. And it basically just uses a roller skating wheel right up here. And as things turns down, the tumbler migrates this direction and just rolls on the ball bearing skateboard wheel. See right there. These guys, the wheels are super cheap and actually ended up making it all tilted. So it rides on that pretty friction free. And actually have bubble levels with rubber cups. If you sit this on the ground, these are racket balls that are cut in half, which dampen the sound, but I don't use those anymore. So this is a great backup rock tumbler. Now, the next thing is actually rebuilding a tumbler from scratch from all the problems. Okay, the remaining points of wear and rebuilding the rock tumbler are as, you see here. So we already talked about the rough, this bearing piece, how that wears out. The, the next part is the, the bushings. Now the whole, all the weight of all the rocks are run on these little bushings. Normally these are brass, but these happen to be plastic. And all they are are little pieces of brass, uh, plastic, nylon, that these things spin on. And you can oil them all you want, they will wear out. Dust gets caught up in there. So these need to be replaced with ball bearings. Cutting ball bearings into sheet metal, that doesn't sound like fun. So I decided to make my own rock tumbler from scratch. Um, again, making something from scratch doesn't have to be steel. I elected to make something in steel, but it could be made from simple, simple two by fours, Legos, erector sets, or whatever. The key things is to replace anything that has wear points. So the second point of wear, first wear, uh, wear point is the tab. Second is the bearing point. And then the next thing is the tight, tight radius of the belt. The belts do wear out. That's why they sell replacement packs. So there's your first clue right there. The very, very small, small uh, pulley on the outside of the engine that basically is bending rubber at less than a quarter of an inch, you know, 100 times a, a minute. So I figured that probably the reason. So if we can get figure out a way to get around that. So, given all these pieces, let's set this guy aside. Going back to what I did with the frame, this is what the new rock tumbler ended up looking like. Again, this was made from welded steel, two by fours, wood, strips of Junk wood will work fine. It's just the rotating wear points that you only have to worry about. It's not what it's built of. So I upgraded the motor. This is a, uh, a Fasco motor. I'll find the part number somewhere in there, but it's a, it's a quarter horsepower jobby. It's around 50 bucks for that. Um, the bearings, I'm over, no longer using bushings. I'm using bearings. These are regular quarter inch roller skate bearings. Um, if you go to any junk shop or Goodwill, you can pick up. These actually, these were actually made from four wheel skates, but these, each wheel has two bearings each. One on this side, whoops, one here, and then one on its other side. So if you buy the bearings new, they're about a dollar each or less. But get a pair of these, you've got uh, 816 bearings for free. So... That's all these are. These are bearings. If you notice these steel rods, these are the same steel rods that came in a different rock tumbler that I junked. 
And basically, these are the only parts I kept because there's a lot of uh, mystery on how much coefficient of friction you want on these uh, rubber slipovers that go on top of the steel rods to grip the rotating drum. Figure just use these as is. And they seem to work fine. So that's the bushing. Now, if you look at the, the, the original issue was the travel of the drums. That was solved by using a simple shower curtain reel. So when it rolls, that it just rolls on that. And that'll run forever. So this guy over here, here. And this does hold two drums comfortably. Now in configuring this, what you want to do, again, I use the racquetball trick for sound. And everything's quarter 20 screws. So you just untighten these to have a slight slope from up to down. So the barrels tend to travel this way and ride on that wheel. Completely, completely relatively friction free and wear, not friction free, but wear, wear, wear free. The last thing I addressed was the, the pulley and the tight radius. And this I switched from, from rock tumbler belts to something that is used to running and designed to run ever and ever, and that is vacuum cleaner belts. Super cheap, and I think they're impregnated with nylon, so they don't snap. Now, still was the problem with the ratio of having a very small pulley, but that was resolved by making bigger pulleys. Now, if you look at McMaster Car or somewhere else to find new pulleys, they're like 10 bucks, all, all the way up to $100 for aluminum or nylon pulleys. This just regular, regular cheap plywood. That's what these pulleys were made out of. Lock of plywood and hole saws. So I used a drill, drill the hole saw to create the blank. In the middle of the hole that got poked by the drill saw, I just tapped it with a screw and stuck it on a regular battery powered drill and just dragged an X-Acto knife until I got the shape I wanted. Calculated the ratio between the inner diameter and the size of the next pulley, and you've got a perfect pairing set. And again, this thing runs forever, it's super quiet, and the engine, the motor, it run, runs nice and quiet. So I'll show you how it all works now.